the video uh, just showing you a trick that seems to work for me. Um, this grill, the last couple of years started having problems starting. I replaced the igniter, the manual one. It never did work great, but it did work better. But uh, it, it seemed to have a persistent problem. It would pretty much all the time, it would wait until there was too much gas in there. So you had to be real careful. And um, so I went through the troubleshooting things that I found online, being an electronics tech my whole life. I knew that I tested pretty much all the obvious things, gas, full gas, regulator works great on everything I have except this. It's getting gas, that's not the problem. You can light it manually. Uh, it is definitely sparking. I put a new igniter in, a battery igniter. It works great and it sparks and the spark is right where it's supposed to be underneath the burner. But um, the only thing left that I could think of was um, from the symptoms that the gas was escaping uh, the vicinity of the spark. There wasn't enough gas there to, uh, to ignite until it, it filled the space. Well that's a pretty good space down there. And uh, so basically what I did was I made a little contraption to give, it, give the gas a place to sit. So the gas comes out of the holes. The holes are under this lip. You can't see them. They're all around there. They're not clogged. None, nothing is clogged. Completely wide open. Um, but the igniter was sitting right here, and you'd think that would do it, wouldn't you? But no. So uh, I tried it. I just got a um, piece of stainless. It was in the shape of a little bowl. It actually came off from a, uh, a light fixture that I took apart. And I just put it there in the vicinity, right there, and made sure that the wiring was right there so that the spark happened. Poof! Every time it lit. So uh, that's it. So so uh, I had to make it mechanically sound and I put some grommets in here so that the wires will go through. So uh, I'm going to put it back together and then I'll show you how it works.